What is good friends, I'm really tired, it's like 5am but I have to bring you guys this game live. It's Lex from West vs BKC from Northeast for World Cup Finals tiebreaker. If BKC wins, Northeast wins World Cup, they are up 1-0 in tiebreaker. Um, ABR beat Lavos earlier in GSC. And if Lex wins, we will get a game 3 which is the Brofus vs Zoma game that will be played on Friday. But uh, looking at these teams, I assume it's going to be set up spam on Lex's side, like screams Yuxi with like rocks T-Wave. I don't know if Light Clay is out in Gen 5. If Light Clay is out, I assume that's going to be the item on Yuxi. Uh, definitely going to be Shell Smash Cloyster. Uh, maybe with King's Rock, not sure what other item it would have. Um, probably some sort of Command Lari. Uh, maybe SD Scissor. Um, Sand Rush Drill in case BKC brought Sand and then probably Swift Swim Kingdra. As BKC did bring Rain, so Kingdra is going to be able to take advantage of the Rain. But yeah, turn 1, I assume BKC is just going to get the rocks up. And Lex is either going to T-Wave the Ferrothorn or get his own rocks up. As he does just T-Wave, BKC gets his rocks up. So turn 2, Lex is going to get his rocks up. Uh, BKC can either lead sheet here or if he's a double hazard Ferrothorn, he can go for spikes. It just depends on if he has spikes on this uh, Ferrothorn. Also looking at the rest of BKC's team, I assume it's going to be Specs Lari with like Sleep Talk, Draco, um, Psychic Surf, something like that. But yeah, he does get up spikes. So this is double hazard Ferrothorn with most likely lead sheet and I think the last move is probably Power Whip or Gyro Ball. Not sure about that. So I assume we see most likely a double here from BKC because he doesn't want to let the X drill come in for free and get the rapid spin off. So he doubles into Landris, really good play. I'm thinking this could be Scarf Landris. And I think Scarf Landris they sometimes carry superpower in black and white. So Lex might want to switch out into like Yuxi here to scout for superpower. Um, BKC is going to superpower U-turn. Does U-turn get the play correct? Bob because he's been playing this really well so far and now he can go into either the Lari or the Kelly to scare out the Yuxi. I'm thinking that it's pretty much um like U-turn was if Drill stayed in it would have still broken the balloon but since Lex switched out, this was even better for BKC. He has the momentum on his side. But I'm thinking Lex switched out to scout for Scarf Superpower. Not sure why else he would switch out. That's yeah. Like I'm not sure exactly. If you guys know better, let me know in the comments. I'm no black and white god or anything. I haven't played this tier ever. Um but yeah, Kelio and Lari, I think they could both be specs. At least one of them is going to be specs, but they could also both be specs. And one of them is most likely going to come out and should be able to force the Yuxi out. So Kelio comes out, and I think I think we're going to see either Pump or Surf here. Most likely Surf, because it's an accurate move and it can't miss. And if it's specs, it should be able to kill the Yuxi from here. So uh, Lex doesn't want to stay in here, most likely. I assume he's just going to go to the Lari. And because he can attack to get information on the Lari, or he can pull a double into his own Lari, maybe. I'm definitely thinking it's some sort of bulky CM Lari on Lex's side. Not exactly sure yet about all the four moves. Probably um, recover Calm Mind. Okay, he comes out and Kelly just goes for serve and does 27. Okay, so I'm thinking that's max HP Lari versus Specs Kelly. That's pretty much yeah. And I think the, the Lari can go for sub here because I'm thinking it's sub recover Calm Mind Dragon Pulse, something along those lines. And um, because he stays in, okay, so he either knew that the sub was going to come out and he knows that surf breaks the sub or he predicted Lex to double into Excadrill or something along those lines. But yeah, now he goes into Landros knowing that the Lari is most likely going to go for recover. As Lex goes for recover, good play by BKC. And now he can go for U-turn here. Um, the thing is, what does he U-turn out into? He probably has to U-turn into the Lari because if he U-turns into the Ferrothorn, the Ferrothorn could be set up for, the, for this Lari. Um, because if it's sub CM and the Ferrothorn um, can't break the sub, then it's complete setup for her. But yeah, Lex should probably go for recover here, knowing that the U-turn is going to come out, keep the Lari healthy. He could also go for sub, because I don't think U-turn does enough to where the Lari couldn't go for sub, but I think recover is the play that he's most likely going to go for, knowing that because he's going to go for Scarf U-turn, as he did just do that. And I think because he has to go into Larios here, because like, the other ones kind of seem like setup for the, for this Lari, because it's probably um like the bulky... See, I'm Lari, like I said, with like Dragon Pulse. Like, I'm not sure what the attacking move is, but I'm thinking the Dragon Pulse most likely. Like, it would be weird for it to be um, Psyshock or Psychic and just be walled by Titar. But yeah, um, because he can probably just go for Specs Draco here with his Lari. And Lex either has to sack something or let the Scissor take it. He doesn't want to let the Drill take it because the Drill can still spin for him and he kind of wants these hazards gone. These hazards are annoying for him. So I assume he's going to let the Scissor take it and Specs Draco probably does like around 60 to 70 percent from specs lady the scissor i'm not sure what the scissor item is it could be like leftovers it could be some sort of gem i don't think it would be scarf scissor on this team because he has drill 
Um, if BKC brought sand, the drill could be his speed control with sand rush. And if BKC brought rain, like, it's like as you guys can see, he did bring rain. The Kingdra is all is lacks his speed control with swift swim most likely. So Scizor is able to take that, and now BKC should pull a double into something that punishes Excadrill because Excadrill is really free here for Lex. It's, it could take. Um, a minus to Draco quite well and then get the spin off. So BKC definitely wants to not stay, like he doesn't want to stay in here. He should double into either Landreth, Kelly or Politoed, one of those three to um, punish the Excadrill coming out. As Lex does pull this vision at Excadrill, okay. So I don't think there's gonna be a Scarf Toad because the Landreth was already Scarf and he also has Bulky Backbone. But yeah, because he's definitely gonna click the water step here. In case Lex wants to spin, because he doesn't wanna let him spin for free, and he obviously wants to get rid of this extra drill. But yeah, what does he go for? Is it surf or is it pump? It is pump, and he does thankfully connect no hex right there. And extra drill was able to get rid of the hazards, and now we could see probably the Kingdra come out because that would threaten out the Politoed or we could maybe see the Yuxi come out here I'm not 100% sure what Lex wants to do like Yuxi could go for a screen if Kingdra could threaten out the Politoed um, yeah so Kingdra comes out thinking this is I'm thinking this is a Specs or Life Orb with like Draco Hydro Pump Dragon Pulse and the last move could be if it's Life Orb it could be Focus Energy or maybe some Hidden Power I'm not 100% sure on that but yeah because he's either gonna switch into Tentacruel or Ferrothorn here and Lex is either gonna Hydro Pump or Draco. But yeah, what I was gonna say earlier, um, Ferrothorn, even if it has knockoff, it most likely doesn't have knockoff. I think it doesn't even break the sub of the Ladi in Gen 5, because knockoff I think is only base 20 in Gen 5. I'm not sure about the exact base power, but I think it's like around base 20. And then knockoff got a buff in Gen 6, but before that it was really weak. So Tenacruel comes out, Tenacruel has really good speed death, it's gonna be able to take pretty much everything. And we see the Life Orb, um, Kingdra. So BKC can either go for Rapid Spin or Toxic, uh, slash Toxic Spikes. I think we're just gonna go for Rapid Spin here, get rid of these rocks. And Lex is either gonna go for Draco slash Dragon Pulse, or he's gonna pull a switch into Uxi. I'm not sure if I should call it Uxi or Uxi. <laughs> But yeah, I'm pretty sure because he's just gonna spin to get rid of these hazards and Lex is either gonna weaken this um, a bit or go into his Uxie. But like, he can't really do much to this Tentacruel since it has Black Sludge and Rain Dish, which heals like a lot of... Like, it heals a lot back and Tentacruel also has really good speed death. As you guys can see, that Dragon Pulse did like nothing. So I feel like Lex is uh, forced out into Uxie here. And BKC could either go for Toxic or Toxic Spikes here, depending on what he has on his Tanner crew. That's pretty much all I have to say about this turn, so um, I'm gonna pause it till they make a move, because I don't really have much. Okay, never mind, he makes a move. We're using the Uxie and there's the Toxic. So now he's most likely just gonna go for Light Screen. He could also get his Hazards up, but I assume he's gonna go for Light Screen. And um, BKC could stay in or he could go into Ferrothorn. I assume he's gonna go Ferrothorn though. And um, yeah, Lex is probably just gonna attempt to get his screens up here because yeah, he's toxic. He wants to get both screens up and um, then he can set up with the Cloyster or the Ladi most likely. But yeah, let me pause it till they make a move. Okay, so because he pulls a switch in the Ferrothorn, Lex goes for a light screen. And yeah, because he's most likely gonna get his rocks back up here unless he gets paralyzed. Um, yeah, so Lex can exactly get up a Reflect here. So the next turn, um, because he's able to get up his rocks, no full para there. The next turn, Lex Yuxi dies to the poison. So I assume he's gonna just get the rocks up here before he dies. Because there's no point in switching out, because he would die to rocks if he switches out. So he does just get up the rocks and die, because he pulls a double into Landris here. So because he's either gonna switch into Keldeo or Ferrothorn, Lex decides to bring out the Cloyster. And Lex is definitely gonna Shell Smash. He does have the Reflect and Light screen up. So this Cloyster... Um, can definitely be a huge threat, especially if it's King's Rock. It can like potentially flinch down BKC's team. So he does Shell Smash, there's the Ferrothorn. And um, I'm pretty sure with the Reflect up and minus one defense, even if this has Power Whip, I think Power Whip would only do like 45, 40 to 50 is my head calc. So uh, Lex can afford to Shell Smash again here. Even if Power Whip comes out, it wouldn't kill. It would only do like 60 if, or 55 if he, 55, 60 ish if he Shell Smashes again. That's what I'm thinking. So um, I assume BKC's play is just going for Leech Seed, even if he has Power Whip, because Power Whip wouldn't kill. Um, so what BKC has to do here is, first he has to hope that he doesn't get par uh, Parrot, and then he, that he can hit a Leech Seed. And second, he also um, has to hope that he doesn't get King's Rock flinched down by his Cloister. So it's a bit scary scenario here. 
Lex definitely just gonna shell smash again. Um, he he wants as many attack boosts as he can get because he um, um, so he can potentially kill the Kalio. Like now he's at plus four as because he misses a lychee that sucks. Now because he's in a rough spot, like basically at plus four, um, Kalio can probably barely live a hit. But um, I think Lex is just gonna Icicle Spear here. So because his play might be sacking off the Landris. He might be sacking off the Landris here. So if Lex predicts, like Lex, I don't think he wants to Shell Smash again. That's too risky if because he stays in Empower Whips. But because he could potentially sack Landro here if he gets the play correct on uh, on Icicle Spear. And that would get the Intimidate off. And then I think then the Kalyu can live a hit. I'm not sure if the Kalyu can live a hit at plus four. Um, I'm actually gonna cut that after the game is over. Um, if Kelly could live a plus four hit or if it needs intimidate for that But yeah, I think he definitely doesn't want to stay in here with the ferals and he probably wants to go Landris um, Try to psych it to Isaac with spear get that intimidate and after that he can come in with the Kelly Exactly, he does go into Landris. So does Lex break that? I think he just went for Isaac with spear Yeah, so that's obviously gonna kill the Landris in one and now Kelly can come out and I think Kelly can live a hit and So Lex is gonna Isaac with spear this right? And yeah, like water move probably kills Cloyster even with light scream up because Cloyster has piss poor spit death and the rain is also up. So like Surf, I think Surf should blow this Cloyster back. So because he's gonna click Surf here, and Icicle little Spear comes out. So the thing here is he can either crit or he can flinch. So he's going for actually gets a crit. Kelio is down. Um, I think that might have been a roll without the crit, but probably is probably in Bigasi's favor. But yeah, least she miss into Icicle Spear. Crit and now it's looking like because he just loses this. Um, yeah, I think he just loses now, which means we will most like yeah we will get a game three. Um, Brofist versus Zomok. I mean that's gonna it's kind of hype, but this sucks for Nauseas. This hacks, but good God, this <laughs> the chat's going wild now. And yeah, because he's heated. I mean I would be annoyed too if I got hacks like this. Good God, he's heated now. But yeah, I don't think maybe Ferrothon can live a hit because of the intimidate he got off with the Lando. Or maybe, or maybe Tenacru can live a hit. But Tenacru doesn't has like bad defense. But I'm a positive he sends out a Mon. Oh yeah, the Tenacru is lower than I thought it was. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the Tenacru just dies to this Isaac Spear. So just gonna click Isaac Spear. Yeah, Tenacru is gonna go down. And yeah, this game this game is over. But yeah, this was a really weird team on from Lax's side. It's also a cool team. Yeah, he does he does have protect in the last slot. I wasn't sure if it was protect sub or poison step, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't matter. He should still still die at 63 because Tenacruel has like poor defense, and Cloyster is still at plus three. So Isaac Spear is gonna send this Tenacruel pack in, and um, pretty sure the Politoed is also gonna send get sent the pack in um, after rocks. Lady obviously dies. And even the Ferrothon can live a hit. Ferrothon can't kill Cloyster. Um, well, it can kill Cloyster next turn if Reflect ends. But at this point, his entire team is like so down. Um, even the Ferrothon, yeah. Like I don't think Ferrothon is gonna be able to beat the Cloyster because he would have gone to it before the Tentacruel. Uh, I guess he, yeah. I guess he would have. He would need the Reflect to be gone for that. But uh, yeah, this game is over pretty much. I don't even know why I'm trying to like find a way for him to like live a hit. God, Lex is <laughs> trying to be funny there. It's like kind of funny, but not. I don't know. I, I don't really want to attack any of these guys, but like, damn, I feel like this. <laughs> this is like so stupid for Bigger Scene. Yeah, Oof, he's getting heated now. But yeah, Isaac Spear is gonna blow this Polytoad away. And um, that's that's really unfortunate for Northeast. Like, if you're from Team US Northeast right now and you feel watching this like I'm kind of rooting for Northeast um, because of Rob Jr. and there's another crit <laughs> um, not that it mattered not it didn't matter obviously I'm just saying there's another crit it's kind of like I don't want to laugh because I know the Northeast players are so annoyed at the moment but as a spectator you like you have to be honest like this is kind of funny right okay so as always, for my black white narrations, if I made any mistakes, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, we did. He never like flinched anything, but I assume this was King's Rock Cloister. Okay, okay, now it's getting super wild. Good God! But yeah, pretty much, 
I'm hyped for Brofus vs. Zomok, the rematch. They already played in semifinals. I will link that game in the description if you guys want to check it out again. Also, um, OLT is going on at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. The ladder has been really aids there for OLT. I don't really want to sign up for that. Um, like, I've been... I want to record a show on live, but the OLT ladder is just not fun. Um, but if you guys want to see a show on live, let me know in the comments and I will bring you guys one in the next days. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the deciding game between Brofus and Zomok. Gonna hopefully be able to catch their life. And peace out, friends.